Okay, welcome guys. Um, before we started uh, and anything, this is gonna be like a really really short video. We're gonna have like a, a couple, the couple following videos are gonna have multiple possible tutorials for uh, gameplays and C++ programming, blueprint and whatever. Um, though if you're not, if you don't configure your project correctly, your stats might not work as, as mine are. So uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go to edit plugins in order to work with the uh, unit testing and testing framework of the Unreal, of the Unreal Engine. Uh, you're gonna look for testing specific, the testing section, and you're gonna enable the functional testing editor. You're gonna need to restore your, uh, your editor, and once you do that, you're gonna have this new window named test automation. So that's what we're gonna look at. So if you don't see that window, that's why you need, that's because you need to enable your plugins. Also under your project, uh, so for example, I created like a, a C++ project under your project.build.cs C sharp file. You're gonna need to add a couple more dependencies for the future. So if you're following a, a video uh, uh, about AI or UMG with C++ or even uh, unit testing or you know, testing itself for your engine, you're going to need to add those extra dependencies to your project. So you could add those just by, you know, uh, typing them in front of it, uh, in front of here, but I, I like to separate them uh, as they are right now. So for AI, you're going to need to add the AI module. Gameplay tasks is more for uh, complex uh, gameplays, function interactions, or uh, multiplayer or something like that. But I like to leave it at as anyway, you might not need it, but you know I like it to leave it anyways. Uh, UMG dependencies. So if you need to render any UMG or a slate or something like that to, to the screen, you're gonna need the these dependency to be added. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to render that through C++ code. And for the automated testing, you're gonna need to enable not only enable that plugin, but also add that uh, into your your build section. So in order for the macros and everything else to, to work with properly. So yeah, that's going to be like a really short video, nothing else to do. So if you wanted to follow on future videos, you're going to need to, to have those properly set up. Also, I just set up also GitHub. Uh, I'm not going to be able to, you know, share the repo with you guys because there are some content in it that are not, you know, free. So I, I bought them some uh, low poly contents like, like these characters over here, like the, I bought this low poly monsters so we could work out uh with ai in the future so uh, that's why i'm not gonna you know make the project publicly because i don't have you know uh the ownership to you know deliver this free to you guys so if you want to uh follow up, follow along just you know follow the code as, as we're gonna do it and also there's this modular rpg actor so we can create clothing system and stuff like that and you know some other meshes like this tropical environment which is also a pack that, that was for free, I, I think, last month or this month on Epic. And these others are, you know, low poly assets that me and my friend modeled. Model. So, yeah, that's why we're not, uh, I'm not making this project publicly accessible. But if you chug along and follow, follow the following videos, you should be fine. So, that's what.